years and I've done a lot of beginner students and I've done a lot of add-on guys and even an add-on guy can walk in the door I've been flying for years and I'll say so where's class G at right here at so many feet or here so many feet so I just want to go over this because class G isn't really super tough but it is if you don't understand it and not only is it tough for beginners it's also very tough for add-on guys so real simply I want to try to break it down the best I can we're going to use Plymouth right here where I have my arrow Plymouth is where we're operating here in north central Indiana Plymouth's a small class G airport so the class G airspace at Plymouth starts at the surface and goes up to the over overlying 700 feet inside this magenta circle just outside of this magenta circle anywhere outside of that circle class G starts at the surface and goes up to 1200 so that's that's the main breakdown that you have to remember class G inside the magenta is the surface up to 700 class G on the outside of the magenta it's the surface to 1200 and above class G is class E so out here outside the magenta class E starts at 1200 and goes on up to the next overlying airspace whether it's BA or if there was a bigger airport it could be something else could be Bravo but around here it's not it goes up to class A in here class Echo is going to start at 700 feet above the ground and go up to the overlying airspace so what you have to remember is inside the magenta surface to 700 outside the magenta surface to 1200 these are all small airports right around this area where I'm from and you notice they've all got their own circle on them now when you get off in other areas you may find where there might be a whole bunch of airports that are grouped all into one area you really have to look at that shaded magenta area to know what's going on and the trick is the examiner is going to give you something like you're out here at 700 feet or let's say 800 feet AGL 800 feet above the ground he's gonna ask you what airspace are you in you are in class G because you are 800 feet above the surface the class G is going up to 1200 it just depends and he's gonna ask you he may give you AGL may give you MSL so you have to think about it you just have to be very careful when he asks questions about getting into a certain airport due to airspace cloud clearance and visibilities you gotta listen is he asking MSL is he asking AGL that's pretty huge any examiner pretty much anywhere I think on any check ride is gonna ask you that question whether you're going for your private you're going for your commercial going back in for your biannual with your flight instructor he should probably be asking you and it's only reason I say that is people really have a hard time remembering that that's what you gotta remember get this ironclad locked and loaded in your brain inside the circle inside the magenta surface to 700 outside the magenta surface to 1200